Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as many of you will know, there is no option available in the Windows operating system to uninstall Microsoft Edge. So if you are running Windows 10 and or Windows 11, Microsoft has no, made no settings or options available to uninstall the browser from the operating system. Now because of this and due to um, user feedback in the comments, um, just a video and this is a video that has been a long time in the making, a video to show you how you can uninstall Microsoft Edge on Windows 11 and as far as I know this will also work on Windows 10. Now, and there's quite a lot to get into, and this is going to be quite an in-depth video, so just to uh, jump straight in. And um, the first thing you need to do is obviously open up Microsoft Edge, head to your menu in the top right, click on Help and Feedback about Microsoft Edge, and you need to take note of the current version and build of the browser that you are running. So that's 109.0.1518.70 in my case. So you need to copy and paste that version and build into another location. That's the first thing you need to do. And then once you've done that, we need to then run a couple of commands using command prompt to uninstall Edge from Windows 10 and Windows 11. And I'll leave a detailed description down below at the bottom of this video for you to copy and paste different commands. Um, as it does get a bit uh, obviously uh, detailed and that will just make it a lot easier for future reference. Now the first thing we need to do is run command prompt and to open command prompt I would just suggest head into your search and doing a search for command and then you will have to actually right click and run that as administrator. You need to run command prompt as admin else this will not work. Now the first thing you need to do at the prompt is type in cd forward slash hit enter. And then at the following prompt, you need to enter this command. Now, one thing to take note of, in this section here, second last from the end to the right, you need to make sure, as I mentioned at the, at the start of this video, that the correct version and build of Microsoft Edge is entered into this section so it will not work. Now as mentioned currently that's 109.0.1518.70. Now if you have a different version you need to and if you have a different version and build you need to enter that version and build into this section of the command else as mentioned it will not uninstall. So once you've done that um, the next thing you have to do is hit enter and then at the next prompt we hit to the next command and this will actually um, this is actually the command to uninstall the browser from your operating system. So at the next prompt, enter that and then you'll have to hit enter on your keyboard and then follow the prompts and that will uninstall the browser from Windows 10 and or Windows 11. And once um, it's gone through all the stages of uninstallation and uninstalling um, the browser from your system, uh, you'll know it's complete because you will see the um, Microsoft Edge shortcuts disappear from your taskbar or your start menu or and so on. And you can also go check in the apps and features list and see if the actual Edge browser has been removed. So that's how you'll know once the browser has been uninstalled. So that's how you actually uninstall Microsoft Edge from Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now with the uninstallation um, of the browser complete, the next thing we have to do is we have to actually stop the browser from being reinstalled because Microsoft will always try to reinstall the Edge browser because it is part of the operating system. So to do this, we need to make a couple of changes in the registry editor. And to open the registry editor, I would suggest right-clicking on your start menu, click on run, and in the, uh, the fields, just enter regedit, click on OK, and this will open the Windows registry editor. Now, as I always do suggest, always make a backup of your registry before fiddling in the registry. Just export the registry and if anything does go wrong you can always just import that at a later stage. Now with that out the way, um, first of all we need to head to H key local machine. Expand that key. Then you need to expand the software key and then we're looking for the Microsoft key. Now there's a couple of things here we need to do. At first we need to um, we need to uh, add a key called Edge Update. So what we need to do is we need to right click on Microsoft. In the context menu, head to New Key. And now you'll see it's created a new key. Now, 
as mentioned i'll leave a description for you to copy and paste down below just for easier reference so we need to rename that key edge update so as mentioned let's just head back we need to rename that key edge update and then once you've done that we need to now um, create a new value for edge update the key. so for edge update we need to create a new value so to do this we right click on edge update new d word 32 bit value and then we need to rename that value do not update to edge with chromium copy that in as mentioned i'll leave a description down below so in that value in the right hand side pane we need to rename that to do not update to edge with chromium and then once you've done that just double click on that value and then you need to change the value data to one the default will be zero so change the default value data from zero to one click on ok and then what i would suggest is x out close the, regis the registry and then i would suggest restarting your device and that should in most cases prevent a microsoft edge from being auto installed once again on windows 10 and windows 11 so that's just a quick way how you can uninstall microsoft edge and prevent it from automatically reinstalling on windows 10 and windows 11 so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one